As a kid growing up in the mid-1990s, Cartoon Network was on my TV screen almost 24-7. Some of my greatest childhood memories were made while curling up on a Saturday morning with a bowl of cereal and watching a cartoon marathon of, of all my favorite shows. But a lot has changed over the years at Cartoon Network, and I'm your host as always, KMAC Time, and today we're going to take a look at Cartoon Network, then versus now. Stupid dog! Stupid dog! Stupid dog! I would like you to jump into a time machine back to 1994 when Cartoon Network Studios was first born. Now I'm not going to bore you with too many details, but what made Cartoon Network so great was its original program. Overseen by the president of the network, Jim Samples, the What a Cartoon Show premiered in 1995 and showcased a ton of new cartoon ideas, many of which eventually got their own series, including Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, Powerpuff Girls, Courage Cowley Dog, and so on and so on. Many of these awesome shows were spawned from What a Cartoon Show. This is what's commonly referred to as the golden age of Cartoon Network. All these shows became instant classics and the success led to the creation of even more awesome shows like Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Codename Kids Next Door, and Samurai Jack. The network could seemingly do no wrong. Every Almost every show they created became a hit with kids. That is until they seemed to stumble a bit in the early 2000s. Now this is when Turner Broadcasting, which owned Cartoon Network, merged with Time Warner. During this time, there was a lot of spillover from the two companies. Black and white Warner Bros. cartoons were now being shown on Cartoon Network along with reruns from the Kids WB on the new shows including Justice League were also released this time. Cartoon Network went through what I like to call an identity crisis during this time and during the few first few years of the new millennium, most of the classic Cartoon Network programs were being viewed on its sister network, Boomerang. But by 2006, many of the cartoons, including Dexter's Lab, the Powerpuff Girls, were actually making their way back into the Cartoon Network in 30-minute segments, which were part of the show called The Cartoon Cartoon Show. All of this came to an end, however, when Jim Samples, the man who had been part of Cartoon Network's programming from the start, resigned in February of 2007, a few days after the Boston Bomb Scare incident involving Adult Swim's Aqua Teen Hunger Force when they were marketing the campaign for their first film. Now, Jim Samples felt personally responsible for the incident and unfortunately stepped down from his position, and ever since that day, Cartoon Network had never really been the same. Stuart Snyder succeeded Samples, and with his new title and power, he was the reason why so many quality programs like The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy were cancelled. Under his reign of terror, as it's become to be known, reality show inspired cartoons emerged like Total Drama Island and Sixteen. In 2010, Cartoon Network tried to emulate the Disney Channel and Nickelodeon more with its own sports award show called Hall of Game Awards, which was hosted by Tony Hawk. Not to mention that Cartoon Network under Snyder's regime introduced a number of live action shows including Destroy, Build, Destroy, which was awkwardly hosted by Andrew WK of all people, and then another show called Dude, What Happened, which is basically just kids acting out their hypothetical questions. And they were all, these shows were terrible and they were cancelled not long after launch. However, there were a handful of good shows developed during this time period, some gems including cult favorites such as Chowder, The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack, and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. They actually went on to be very successful shows, and actually some of my favorite shows from the network of all time. Despite these shows, however, doing relatively well, this was a dark time for the Cartoon Network as a whole, as its numbers dropped immensely as kids started to migrate to Disney Channel and Nickelodeon, among others, more and more. Then came what I call the rebirth of Cartoon Network, the state we are currently in, a renaissance of animated great cartoons, and this started around 2010-2011. This is when we started to get shows like Adventure Time, Regular Show, The Amazing World of Gumball, and even more recently we've been treated to Steven Universe, Uncle Grandpa, and Clarence. And on top of that, we've gotten some decent reboots of older shows like Bugs Bunny and Wabbit or Be Cool Scooby-Doo. And then now they've announced and coming soon 
The Powerpuff Girls is getting a reboot. Samurai Jack series is making a return. It seems that Cartoon Network has finally listened to its viewers and started giving them what they wanted for a change. And because of that, we got a brand new Golden Age of Cartoons. Now that the debate over which Golden Age of Cartoons is better is still open for discussion. The classic shows from the mid-90s are what formed the network and got it to where it is today, but today's shows are what saved the network from what seemed like certain doom. So it's hard to say one is better than the other. Personally, I think they are both special times in cartoon history and both deserve to be called the best. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section what was your favorite time period in Cartoon Network history. Also, tell me what your favorite shows are. I'd love to hear about your favorite cartoons of all time from Cartoon Network. Also, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe for more of these videos. If you guys are new around here, you guys get more of these videos in your sub box daily. That's all for now. Remember, it's always came back time somewhere. Until then, guys, take it easy. Hand peace out.